identity is the fundamental basis of a human being. It is what characterizes an individual and makes him or her unique. And with the government aiming high for NID registrations to be 95% complete by 2025, greater collaboration is needed, according to the minister responsible. With 95% of our population, our visibility of our population, and it has been a challenge uh, within this project, but uh, we have a very good team, uh, very, very nationalistic uh, in the way we carry out uh, the project. Because, as you know, uh, our identity is our, the biggest security that we have, that we must manage within. For the PNG Civil Registry, this will also include the development of the civil and identity ecosystem, which would enable credentials to be stored and shared among multiple organizations in a way that protects an individual from identity theft and fraud, while at the same time providing important access to services. Reach the system in itself and how we go about processing. And I must also take this opportunity to, to, uh, to apologize to the many Papua New Guineans out there um, for the many reasons uh, that uh, we may not seem to be as effective as we like to be. But I must give you all confidence that uh, this is a, a very important process of the government. And so we are making every effort, this government and this team, to ensure that uh, we are capturing quality information. We have a tendency in this country to always try to find shortcuts. A particular interest that trailed before the end of last year is the partnership between the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, targeting major provincial hospitals in Mendi, Goroka and Angau in Leh, and the PNG Civil Identity Registry modeling this prototype. We're not asking the government, we're just putting it as a factual information that it does cost money to get information and 50 kina is what we estimate per person. And to reach that 95% as our target, it will cost us around 300 million. And that these are now hard facts that the leaders on the ground need to understand and partner with us so that we can ensure collaboratively, we're working towards ensuring that 95% is covered by 2025. But more importantly, we run a free, fair election by 2027. While there is delay experienced in the turnaround time from civil and identity registration to the production of NID documents because of manpower, processing ratios of each of the processes from data collection to NID card production and birth certificate printing, the announcement today of a new storage system will ease the backload and the back end of the NID registration process. Additional staff will also be hired in the next couple of weeks, all in the hopes of cutting down the backlog. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.